Omar Gay, Omar Gay. <laughs> And it could, man. Hold on, we do my real intro for my new people that I don't know, man. Thank you, Omar. Thank you, God, Omar. Because I'm back with another video. Oh! Only the ones that have been watching me for a minute know that. I be coming in lately and saying, God! God! Because that's how I've been feeling. I'm on God mode. God! You know what I'm saying? First of all, it's no point in showing y'all the bad thing. I am got no fancy design. So I'm going to show y'all everything right here. And this. All my niggas is wondering, this is a mud bank. You know what I'm saying? Is Omar gonna be talking a lot? Come on, man, you know the answer to this. You know what I'm saying? You saying goofy shit. So right now, man, I'm hoping, I'm praying. Uh, okay, okay. So, bro, I got the designer tacos right now. Omar, why you call these designer tacos? It's because this shit is mad expensive, my nigga. God! So first of all, I'm about to fill this other side up with chips so it can look better in the thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? Oh, these chips. Yeah, these definitely designer, my nigga. So, go ahead and get the thumbnail in. Then your boy gotta get his views. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, your boy got this under tacos. Let's go up and get close up on these. Let's see what they look like up close. Boom, right here. Y'all see, I believe this is the hot chicken one right here. And one of them is, this one is the uh the, the crunch wheezy. And this one is the carnita asada, something like that, taco. So let's go ahead and eat it. Let's go ahead and get a, let's go, let's go for it. Let's go crazy. First of all, say a prayer. Blessed prosperity. More faith. Let's go. Amen. So first of all, second of all, I already said first of all, I can't say second. I can't say first of all repeatedly times. How are y'all doing? I absolutely don't give a f about this food. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying not to cut so much of my videos because I'll be watching myself and I'll be like, dang, bro, I'm really cussing a lot. And I'm, 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 I'm being like dead serious when I say that. You know what I'm saying? So how y'all feeling, man? Outside of, outside of being a viewer, outside of being a YouTuber, however, whatever lifestyle you live in, outside of being a rapper, outside of being a hardworking man for your family, hardworking woman for their family, how do y'all feel, bro? This is a place of comfort. I don't care about what you've done in your life. I don't care how bad is your life. I don't care how good your life is. We all a family when we come on, when we come on Davey and No More's channel. We all a family. It's no favors, anything like that. I don't care about no favors. I don't care about trying to live up to your standards. I don't care about trying to fit to your content creator top list. I don't care about none of that, bro. Overall, I'm a human being first, and that's what a lot of content creators forget, and that's why they would never get true love and respect in this world. So how is y'all doing as a person? And yes, I'll just talk for, for a minute and 30 seconds. Let's get into this food. You know what I'm saying? As you thinking about all that, let's go ahead and try this. Crunch Weezy, bro. This looks absolutely crazy. Y'all see this? It's on their tacos in the cup. That's crazy. Very refreshing, man. This is my first time having this on the tacos. I was gonna get more, but this is thing about y'all don't know. You never had this spot. Don't automatically assume it's good. Cause I could have been in here and I could it could have just like straight garbage. You know what I'm saying? Trash. 
that's the reason why. So I had to pace myself. I was about to go crazy. I was about to get way more shit. But it's mud bending. I said, hold on, Davian. You didn't even try this spot yet, bro. Give yourself a second to try this spot. You know what I'm saying? So I was straight wild off the whip. I'm trying to get this taco. I'm trying to try that taco. First of all, they had a taco on there called the Mac Attack. You will never catch me eating nothing called the Mac Attack, my nigga. You trying to get, you know what I'm saying? They, I, somehow they know McDonald's is my enemy. Oh, y'all know Omar don't fuck with McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? Oh, McDonald's, like I said, and I stand on this, and I'm not ducking and dodging. If I do it, I'll be a man to pay up. If y'all ever catch me eating McDonald's, any forms of social medias, any way, shape, or form, you know what I'm saying? Somebody else's video featuring it, tag me eating it. Somebody else poked it. I don't care how y'all see it. I'm donating a hundred to my fans. I'm donating a hundred dollars. It might not be all in one. I ain't gonna lie to you. So I'm gonna get your hopes up. Like, oh, he about to pay my me and my girl's dinner, uh, or gas, you know, for a car. It's not happening, G. Everybody getting ten dollars gift cards like these from Omar. <laughs> I'm just being honest with y'all. Y'all want me to lie? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like $100 is too much to be given to one person, especially if I'm doing it. I give away. You know what I'm saying? I want to give away. I want multiple people. That's at least 10 people right there that could get something. You know what I'm saying? So, that's a fact. But, we're about to go try the Alec Car the Car Cornell. Alec I'm going to pop it up on the screen, bro. Y'all probably laughing at me. It ain't funny, man. We're about to go and try this one. Okay, I see what they're going with this. This is more for like, if you're really healthy. This is really lean cut of meat. Now see how fancy that look though. It's on the tacos for real. That shit love. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to let y'all boy grab water very quick. Cool. Grab me a water. I got me a water and lemonade. I'm gonna put it on the floor. I ain't got no space on my dish right now. I gotta clear it off. So man. How y'all been, man? I know life been ups and down roller coasters, but I'm here to tell you, you're gonna make it through anything you're going through. God will never put you through anything that you physically or mentally can't overcome. The chips are fresh. You know what I'm saying? Cut that off, man. You having a bad day? I just hope I can at least you, make you smile, make you enjoy, you know, the vids or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I post, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be more consistent, man. I know I haven't really been as consistent. I find the sauce, this sauce is spicy as shit. I know I really haven't been as consistent. I'm working on it. I'm going, I'm going way harder. I'm way more focused and cutting down all that time, I, all that free time I got. I'm cutting it up. Not all of it, but majority of it, if that makes sense. I'm cutting it down. I, I got a lot of free time on my hands day to day. And, you know, I'm analyzing that. Okay, so boom, I'm going to do this right here. Boom, I'm going to do this right here. Boom, I'm going to do this right here. And I'm starting to knock out activities by doing it at once. Like going to the gym when I'm in the sauna, I try to meditate in the sauna, if that makes sense. When I'm at work, either on the break or if I get there pretty early, I uh I read there. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm i trying to work around my schedule because me trying to do all this before I go to work because I'm the type, I want to get everything done during the day so I can go do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm realizing, stop putting on that stress on myself. That's why I was tripping, man. I was so inconsistent. 
you have to, sometimes you got to shake yourself like, nigga, wake up. You got all this free time right here in between when you're doing this. Do it right there. Boom, eating schedule. You eat three times a day. Eat once at work. Eat snacks the whole time. You know, a little healthy. I got a little healthy stuff. I got some trail mix. You know, like it's like fruits and nuts. It's not no M&Ms and none of that BS. Eat two times before you go. And then eat once there. Then you eat again when you get home. It's like things like that, bro. It's just like, you know, I'm just trying to be more consistent. It's no excuses, bro. I never make no excuses why I'm not being consistent. It's all on me. You know what I'm saying? Take accountability. That's only how y'all going to grow. That's, hey, anybody listen to this and you, um, you've been very inconsistent lately. You've been scrolling through YouTube like me. I love scrolling through YouTube. But guess what? Bro, certain hours, you got to cut off that phone, G. You got to get into the zone. You have to get into the zone, bro. You can't be you can't be in a viewer a viewer perspective, bro. Because when you're in a viewer perspective, that means you in the passenger seat, G. And you in the passenger seat of your life. And a lot of y'all said, nah, I ain't in the passenger seat of my life. What the fuck you talking about? But yes, you is though. You gotta hear me out for a second though. You in the passenger seat of your life because you're sitting here wanting to be the viewer and you supposed to be the creator. That's why I tell myself all the time and I get pissed. Then boom, what I do? Upload six days in a row, four days in a row. Try to be as consistent as possible. You got to fire yourself up because if you talk shit to yourself, people say talk shit to yourself is down to yourself. No, it's not, bro. David Goggins is the one that made shit talk to yourself so known to the point it is now. It always, everybody always been doing it. Every successful people do it. I'm like, dang, you really ain't that nigga if you don't go talk to that girl right now. You be like, Psh, yeah, all right. Then what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's in a good sense, bro. Like, I'm in... I'm I'm so in tune with myself, right? Let's go ahead and try this taco. It's about to get the it's about to get the ten minute mark and tripping. All right, so we got the we got the chicken one right here. Oh shit! I like how they wrap around like a bow. That's that's creative. That chicken one, I ain't gonna lie, bro. These designer tacos, it's busting, my nigga. God! They all put in their own. Since I gave all these the same rating, let me put y'all on order. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put the place at the beginning of the video. I gotta pop it up now for y'all, too. You know what I'm saying? Just if it make it more clear. Um, bro, this place is it's it's top tier, my nigga. I'll order this again, like cameras off type shit. You know what I'm saying? Definitely order. I definitely order this again. You know what I'm saying? Probably get way more. If I get way more options, like I get hell of them. Cause me, I'm the type, bro. It's like I'm at a little uh restaurant, right? The fancy restaurants, right? And they come bring you all these different tacos and shit. When you say can you choose them for me so I can try them? I'm not a lot because me, I'm not allergic to nothing, so I don't care. I really don't care what I eat. I just be careful with how much I consume. If that makes sense. So me, it gives me that vibe, bro. That's why I call these designer tacos. And I already knew it was gonna be like this when I see all them little tacos on there. Order me a couple. I'm like, these designer tacos for sure, bro. Because if we's at the restaurant right now, you be like, oh, give me all your little small, y'all, your little small single tacos. These all the same, my nigga. These all taste. Really, really good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not rating them, bro. I just tell y'all the best in order for me, for me. Number one, the crunch was easy. That was not capping. That's number one. Number two, I'm going to have to get it to the hot chicken or whatever. You know the name is right there. The chicken one. Number three, it was going to be the healthier option. If the healthier option don't have as much flavor as hint, enhanced than the first two. But they all equals, believe me, bro. Omar would not capture y'all, bro. I won't stare y'all wrong, man. Like, don't be scared, man. Like, get what get what y'all want. and get exactly what I got. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, my um, my elevation game is so different, man. Like. Um, 
everything you point out, bro, newsflash for people that are starting to grind or people that have been on their grind for a long time that's always had somebody with them. Bro, you're going to have to go through that chapter when it's just you by yourself. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to go through that chapter when it's you. You going through it, G. Like, you just going through it. Like, I'm talking about, like, unimaginably bad, bro. But you have to overcome adversity, bro, so you could grow. God's going to put you in the toughest situation because he wants you to have what? One of the best outcomes, my nigga. Not, not because God hates you or the, all these intrusive thoughts that you're having, bro. I'm telling you, the game going to test you, my nigga. It's up to you, my my females, my nigga, whoever. The game going to test you, bro. It's up. It's all, man. Is you up for a war, bro? That's all I got to ask, bro, before I end this video. Is y'all up for a war? Because if you're not up for a war, bro, you're not up. You're not willing, you're not willing to go hell and back. For your success level, your, your success rate. I don't know what your su success level is. Yours might be in a, might be in a doctor. Mine's is being a YouTuber. Yours might be in a doctor. But a YouTuber's not all I want to do, though. You know what I'm saying? And same thing with you. You might be want to be a doctor, but you probably want to do more things. Everybody's success level is different, bro. But we, it's the journey is no different, my nigga. You have to go through your marathon. You got to, You have to go through your process, bro. You have to go. You have to be 10 towers down. You have to be willing to do things people are not doing. You you have to stay down, bro. And what, what's the best way to do it, Omar? Is you got to love the process, bro. It's going to kick your ass. It's going to beat you. It's going to whoop you. But you better be getting up. You better get up every single time you get knocked down, bro. You better take it to 12 rounds. You better take that shit to 14, 20. I don't care how many rounds you're fighting with the double. I don't care how many rounds you're fighting with yourself. You better take it all the way there, bro. That's how I want to end this, man. I don't want this video too long, man. Because I just want this a quick, easy message. And I know y'all got shit to do. I'm not about to be dragging this on to a 40-minute video. God! God! Out the cut, man. David and Omar out the cut, man. Mr. Omar out the cut, man. Smooth skin, Omar. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Dirty Omar, I'm about to go out for work. I'm about to get cleaned up, though. I'm about to go ahead and enjoy these designer tacos. Man, I really appreciate you for tuning in and listening. Tuning in for the food. Bro. Whatever you're tuning in for, bro. For me, you don't have to. It's for me, bro. I understand, man. But, <laughs> 100%, man. We're on the road to four, real road to a thousand. Make sure that subscribe button right now, man. Sub up if y'all want more content, man. You gotta know, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, smash them comments, bro. I respond to everybody. If I don't respond right away, give me time. You have to understand, I'm going through a lot of shit. I got a lot of shit planned. I'm a very busy person, bro. I'm not. I always been kind of busy. I ain't gonna lie. Let y'all, man. I'm gone. Just give me a second if, if you do text me on any socials, bro. I will respond to everything, though. Just give me a second. Love. Omar out, man. Peace.